Okay, so today we'll take a look at some wild XFC customizations from, you guessed it, the Unix porn subreddit, which by the way is currently private due to Reddit API changes and I have no idea how the editor will manage to get the screenshots to insert in the video. Good luck! So the posts discussed here are one of the top rated ones and I've also made sure to take a variety of them rather than picking similar ones. So hope you enjoyed them and let's just get right in. So the first one is meant to show you the extent of window decorations you could do in XFC. What you're seeing right now on the screen is XFC with a very interesting window decoration, which is the main reason for me to pick this. So let's be honest, I don't think this kind of window border could be done on any desktop environment other than XFC. It's using Polybar as its main panel instead of the XFC panels and a lot of XFC extensions and app consistent with the theme. The blue wallpaper matching with the theme looks very slick and has the most minimal yet material theme round cornered login screen ever. Not to mention the menu at the left is floating but it's not an XFC feature uh, so you could have it in any Linux system. The creator of this Reddit post has uh, thankfully left us a GitHub repository of the dot file so there's no issue in taking a look and um, you know, trying out the look and feel yourself. The next example I've got is meant to show you what extent uh, could XFC be customized. So here's where a lot of the customizations are made through XFC by third-party apps. If you had seen one of my previous videos where I mentioned a KD customization that looks pixelated and gives a cool retro vibe, this XFC theme is very similar to that. So obviously on the first look you would notice that it uses a lot of third-party apps and extensions to keep up with the consistency of the looks. The XFC panel is replaced with Polybar instead, again, which gives the user some more power to play with fonts, workspace icons on the panel, and so on. Great wallpaper matching the pixelated feel intended. We are seeing a pattern by the way behind this all of these customizations use other panels and not the xfc one probably because that one doesn't have a lot of features with the respect of functionality it also lacks features in appearance like being able to customize the border radius the dock of course uses plank with the transparency theme keeping everything as minimal as possible with the main focus in that workflow being the icon and the retro feel and i mean <laughs> come on who doesn't like that so if you're wondering what that small gray colored pink skirt character is in the image, believe it or not, it's the cursor. So this is probably the only complaint I have about this theme since this cursor theme does it's not very practical, we could say, for everyday use, but I guess you could have it. The pixelated icons theme is called Simple Pixel Icon Pack, which is 90% of the magic in the look and feel of this desktop, and the conky theme is from user Fugfox. Take a deep breath and picture this on your desktop. This is probably the dream look and feel for many of you wanting a re retro read retro look that you um you had your d so everything from the icons in the file manager and other applications the font and the colors window decorations and conky feel all of this feels just consistent and lo-fi so this one instead uses a unique approach for window decorations by adding a blue border at the top and the bottom, giving it a unique unseen look. The window action buttons, just like the rest of the theme, are minimal by nature, giving us just the square for the clicking. It uses the Chromium third page with the image showing in the browser, and the GTK theme and the icon theme used here are Tela Dark. It also uses a Quantum theme, which is a fork of matcha dark as well, a lot of weird names, and finally uses a fetch tool called SizeFX, which uh, the maker of the of the post actually wrote themselves. Since the maker of the post did not mention which panel it is, we could assume it's a XFC panel. However, looks can be deceiving, and this one could also be tint too. 
Overall, it gives us this window tan feel and, you know, the panel at the bottom, the windows tan squared looks at this kind of moving on this one is gonna be interesting the screenshot you are seeing in front of you is not ms dos i know but it's an illusion for your brain it's got the same perfect wallpaper which is well this grainy png it's got a perfect font window decoration terminal and of course above all the panels it's like stirring at an artwork where everything is on point. It uses the Clacon, Claycon font, a completely custom theme that is made by the person who posted it, but unfortunately the person behind this did not post a link to anything except the beautiful wallpaper. The thing which makes this amazing is the consistency. There is no color other than black and uh, grayish white, which you see on the screen, a neat border around all widgets, a beautiful retro style white window decoration, and no border for the terminal, just adds to the scene. This is something that not a lot of people use on a daily basis as a look and feel, as of 2023 that is, but it does look elegant and well thought in terms of themes, fonts and icons. Everything just fits so well to uh, create a complete experience and it's just so look so cool to look at. So if you've if you have seen my previous videos, which uh, you should see after this video if you haven't, but I mentioned a couple a complete section where I show a couple of customizations which look like windows from different eras. This time we have Windows XP and <laughs> I mean come on. The reason why this seems too real is that it uses everything exactly from the XP, like the Netscape Navigator icon, which Firefox has on the desktop, the old GIMP icon it had, and so on. The wallpaper obviously is meant to be minimal. The icons are just on point, not as good as the pixelated retro ones, but it does give some retro vibes. It uses the Chicago 95 GTK theme and a icon theme and um, MS Sans Serif font for the interface. So as you followers probably know, I want you to hear for the millionth time, I just love blur effects. And having a list of XFC customizations with none of them using blur would be just horrible. The next one is basically XFC, but every, every, every element is blurred. Panels, conky, terminal, background, and even the window decorations. It uses the Tokyo Night Moon BLGTK theme that was hard, the good old Papyrus icon theme, and Lute Severino's conky theme. Obviously, the major reason this has been taken is that it looks amazing with all of these blur effects. I'm biased, I'm biased, but the wallpaper looks very elegant and vibrant enough for the blur effect to make use of it. It uses the Hermit font, of course, the Pycom uh, compositor, and possibly XFC panels, but the person behind this has not given the exact uh, panel used, but we can just assume it's an XFC. Next up, we have this, a simple, casually themed desktop with a clever use of XFC panels. Yes, this does use XFC panels, and it's very interesting considering the approach of it. It uses the Matcha Dark Azul JTK theme and Papyrus Dark for the most icons and Blue Gray for the folder icons, the Heck font custom conky customization and Apple's NeoFetch. Now let's talk about the panels. The approach is of course to be more like Chrome OS, but it also has some Windows 11 vibes. It does use the same exact GTK themes as well for the panels, but the person completely tweaked the gtkt.css file to change the properties of the looks of the panel, making it have a curve uh, translucent background, which I think is very unique in the XFC realm for the person has achieved grammatically incorrect, but whatever. Next up, we have this customization. It's probably the best light themed XFC customization in this video and does everything while also is consistent with the wallpaper color and colors and icon and the overall pale reddish feel the creator is going for. 
It uses the classic Matcha Alice Light GTK theme, the Papyrus Psychon theme, yet again a conky Picom Try One file, and a lot of customization in, G in the JTK.CSS file. Because, yes, the bottom panel at the bottom is XFC panel. The radius ends and transparency are customized at its core, and a lot of tweaks in the layout and arrangement of the panel to make it look like part of the dock and part of the panel. Fortunately, we've got all the links to the Reddit page, so if you want it and if the Reddit thingy is still up, you could get it done by yourself. Next up, you guessed it, we have some blur-induced customizations yet again. This time it's a more a minimalistic blur, where you won't see blur everywhere, but it's subtle enough and balanced enough to make a difference. Of course, at first look, the panel look as uh, and modern with a blurred background in the panel and a opaque padding for the widgets. The windows seem to have no decoration or border and it again uses the Papyrus Saigon theme with, with a highly customized XFC4 panel through gtk.css Nordic GTK themes and JetBrains uh, mono nerd font. Normally I would turn off the lights now but I can't. So if you're still watching this video do uh, leave a like if, if, if if you if you want you don't have to you can dislike if you want but uh, don't do it. yeah so, so uh, most of the things that i do like kitty development and running the channel itself all of these actually require money uh, going from eating to also you know having the hardware to record this there's a light there's a teleprompter there's a steam deck running so there's a lot of the, a lot of that cash needed so if you want to help out i do have a patreon but also ko-fi libra pay uh, youtube memberships lots of things uh so people just you can do whatever if you could support the channel a little bit that would be super helpful and in fact i've received a lot of donations lately so i really wanted to say thank you and keep in mind that if i'm able to do any of this kitty involvement everything it's only because you are paying me so i'm, I'm also like trying my best anyway uh, xfc i was saying so no doubt xfc has come a long way building a huge community of people to make such wild customizations of course being on the customizable side of desktop environments xfc is intended to have a cool gallery of customizations available that was uh, me in this video so i'll catch you in the next one Thanks.